Hello everyone and welcome to DS Repair again. I'm your host, The Wheel Kid. Today I'm going to show you how to clean a car brand on this. It's about, well, about 2007. It's a pressure washer made by Brute from Walmart. It's got a regular scratch and 650 engine series on it. 6.50 foot-pound gross torque. 190cc. What it is, well, it's done, I know it ain't wore out because I've only used it maybe since I've had it. Five, six hours since 2007, that's five years. That average is about, about an hour, a little over a year. But now it ain't wore out. But what it is, last time I tried to use it, it was pulling oil up into the carburetor, running out and through the filter. So that means that something stopped up or something. Enter the carburetor, mostly behind the valve thing. Start by taking the cover off. I already took the filter out. So you can see some of the oil there. You take the cover off with a socket wrench or a flat screwdriver. Then you gotta have a 5 16 wrench. Take the three bolts out here for the breather plate. Be careful not to move bust your gasket. Which is that right there. It ripped a little but well, that's just the breather gasket, so hopefully it won't bother as much. Don't know if I ran gas, so I'm gonna check. No, it's bone dry, so I ain't gotta worry about the fuel line. For a gasket, you'd have to clamp it off with a pair of small plier vice grip. Take a plier, move it back. Then you gotta work your hose off. There might be some gas down the line, see? So be careful of any open flames. Got a match? But he'll help clean all that off. <clears throat> you want to clean up any spills immediately. Then you got to have a 3 8 socket. You gotta have a 3 8 wrench or 10 millimeter socket, or a 3 8 socket rather. Unscrew that screw. And this one back here. Pay attention how everything connects and goes and how it's routed and comes apart. So you know how to put it back together. How everything hooks up. That choke is going to go up in that lever there, that piece. And that just works way off, and there you go. Dump the gas in the gas and car right out. Okay. 
I got a half inch wrench. It brand it all wouldn't be because of the carburetor, it because your air filter either stopped up or because drain hole in your valve breather messed up. You can see there's no screw for adjustments on it. But you need a lot of compressed air. Okay. Like I said, the car didn't really need to be cleaned. Because it just had oil in it. But we'll clean it anyway. Get the oil residue out and it's set for a couple of years. Kind of spray around here with all your holes. Watch your eyes. Kind of divert it away from your eyes. Make sure your needle valve down in there. Make sure it's good and clean and seated good. Not messed up. Spray through all your holes. And down your main body. Normally I would take a piece of wire and poke down through here, but since this carburetor is clean, it ran good other than the oil. With that called the carburetor, I won't do that. But what I will do is, I'll take some compressed air and kind of blow through it like this. Don't get directly on it. It's 125 pounds, 60 gallon tank. Cleaner, and you don't have a heated garage, it's it awful cold as well as the air. Make sure all your bowl gaskets are off when you do it. Needle valve clean. Check for gas in your float. Okay, make sure your bowl clean, blow it out, put it back in it, make sure all that's working. Bowl gaskets down are good. Make sure gas is good here. Blow it out pretty good. Carburetor cleaner and air. Clean it off. Then maybe blow it a little air. Make sure the gas is good. Have it pitch open. Uh, every now and then.
and reassemble. Don't over tighten. Then you get down the back. Put it back together. Hmm. Gray paint on factory defect. Well, I didn't do it. Mm hmm I need to put it baby wire out of the way. Put it back that hole you can tell where it's gotta go call that grommet looking thing there. That's your governor. Put it back. Make sure your O ring back here is good. As you can see it back there. Some of them don't have O-ring. They have a gasket back there. That got an O-ring. And after you do that, you can reassemble it. But you got to make sure that that right there goes up in that. I had to put it together before you put the bolts in. And even up on that pipe, which I've done. Most, a lot of engines, some of them anyway, the bigger engines, they have a plate here, which is where your valve cover is, where that runs through. But mostly smaller engines like this have a tube to run over. Make sure everything's hooked up. Your throttle's hooked. Gunner linkage is hooked up. Choke thing is here is hooked up. Here in the front. But be careful trying it loose like that. Because it could cause something. Get out of alignment where it flops around and break. Dug them up first, lightly, then kind of tighten down at you. Make sure everything's going to work right. Don't over tighten them. That's your gasket up back there or your old ring and you can break something. There's that pipe which let your breather bleed or your valves. But to get the hit, you got to take all this off here on top. The top, gas shroud, and the Thing there. You gotta have a screwdriver to do that. You got two of them. And that just comes off. Then under here you'll have more five sixteens. Boats. Or maybe they're a quarter. Or eight millimeter will work. You got about three of these, four. Watch it. 
three of them. And this just lifts off. You may have to take your oil stick off. In this case, we ain't got to. Then, you got to have your three-eighths again. Or your ten millimeter in extension. Because you got two bolts down in here. Two front ones. First time I've ever seen an all chrome looking motor like this, so usually they're black looking. Like the top there. front ones, then you got the two back ones. And you gotta remember your oil dip stick is fashion to that. Loose some head up. Put an eight millimeter socket. You might spill a little oil because you gotta pop it up a little. Get all your governor springs here. These springs have to be just right for it to run. People like to stretch them, alter them. Best thing to do if it mess up, get you a new one. But anyway, there is the thing. It's going over here behind the muffler. Ain't we just ducky? So now we get to take it all apart and go behind the muffler. Now you got a bolt here to take the muffler off. It's Eight millimeter. Well, it takes the cover off. Usually, when one starts putting oil for the carburetor, it's because either the rings are bad, especially the oil ring. You got another one here, or it's over full with oil. Your valves are leaking. Your valve cover plate messed up, or your fil air filter stopped up, or the hole where the valve are down in there stopped up. That lets the valve drain. The rail push rod are. Now to get these off, you got to bend that tab back a little. They didn't lock them boats down so that catch the flat side of the boat so that they can't turn. So that when it 
got motor done and they don't vibrate out. 716 bolt, take the off. Oh. Now you get the muffler off. And there's usually a gasket there, which it's stuck to it there, but you can see it. Well, I'm actually, I ain't messing with it. Now here's the plate I was telling you about. You can kind of see all there where it's dirt to the muffler. Three-eighths. Or ten millimeter. Now what's that plate cover? The valve. Oh. Push rods is to keep her. And while you got a park, you can always check this on an engine. Because a lot of times them things will break, and if they got a lot of movement, vibration, something comes loose up there, start vibrating, they'll, they can break that, then your motor oh, that's will the, run. That's the intake, ain't it? Yep. Huh. For the carburetor. Oops. See all that there? I'll have to get another gasket to go on it. Well, it's been on here for a while. About five years. Sometimes you can't help it with the gasket tear it up. That explains why it might have been leaking. Well, what they can call that nigga. Is the whole drain hole stopped up or something? Huh. Try to check it. It should have a little bit plate to it. It should make kind of like a crack, little click sound. I'm going to spray the hole out there. Watch the camera. Make sure that's clean. There's another plate on the flywheel, but I'm not pulling that flywheel. Unless I have to. I get right there. Sometimes you may have to really look to find the drain hole. It looks like a one maybe back there. But sometimes it's hard to get to them without taking your valves out. There's another one back there. Yeah, that's about the size of Piece of wire might get back in there if you can bend it just right. Kind of clean it out in there good. Okay, spray it back out down in there. Well, like I said, I ain't got the thing to go over it today. So I'm just going to reassemble it to give you the idea. Later when I get the gas, I'll take it back apart. It'll be come apart just the way we took it apart, and it'll go back together the same way. You'll have to match the gasket up to how it goes in there and fits. If it still does it, then I may have to replace this or take that off. but we'll take the flywheel off. But for right now, you got to start where it goes. I'll just snug it up pretty good. I can't start it, so I didn't want to get them snugged up so that they don't fall out because I have to move it between now and then and get lost. 
you could put silicone back there, but I wouldn't kind of recommend it because I would pick that down there and stop it up. Plate. Now you can fill me your muffler. There, Lady, go right back to reverse order. Make sure you don't cross thread nothing, so if something don't want to go, don't force it. You gotta get pretty tight or you'll have a fall seat back there and mess your gasket up. Might sound like an old John Deere tractor. We need to bend deep back up. And down. Anyway, you get the idea. I'm not going to do all that. Just have to take it back off again. Now we got all that tight. Now we put the cover on it. Check, make sure it feels good, which it does. And your oil dipstick screw. Put your back screw here in. Okay, now, put this back over. Got all three little screws. One there. And they take that eight millimeter. Start them first. Snug them down, one there, They're all stuck and tighten them. The motor runs good, don't smoke, and that just leaks oil out of carburetor. But I'm no expert, so I'm say it could accidentally be the uh, ring, but I doubt it. If it runs good, don't smoke. That works set so long. And put these ears like shooting in the dark.
Anyway, let's put it together. Spin it back around. Ouch. And do your other side. Okay, make it. Now we can double check our hand the carburetor. Throttle. And your choke. Go ahead and just get me a new one of these gaskets when I do it. I just got a certain way they go in. I'm a little ear they pop over. But this here just to, to go between your air breather and everything. Well, it don't really matter that much so if it don't have a primer on it. If it had a primer on it, all this has to be sealed good for the primer to work for that little button. Which would be right here. If it leaks air there, it won't work. Don't get your gas line clamped. Might help you put it on first. Yeah, it might. Just a technicality. I forgot that we hadn't put it on. Mm -hmm. Then you take this, put the breather tube thing back on. There, line it all up, and take the three screws on it, plug in before you tighten them up. I'm not going to put the new air filter in just yet until I make sure that it's going to work. I'll start running it without the air filter for a little while I'll make sure it don't drip no more oil. If it don't drip then I'll put the new air filter in it. Snug them up a little. Don't torque them. You don't start at first, then snug them up, then after they all snug up, then you can tighten. Don't overdo it, you'll strip something or break something. You want them tight enough so they seal and don't back out. Then you put this one on. The cover. You're supposed to put the filter on, but like I said, I'm not doing that right now. So I make sure it's going to work. There's your fast and slow, and your choke. Then you clean up your bath and your tool. Anyway, this has been another episode of ES Repair. I'm your host, Whiskey. Thanks for watching. Good night.